Michael Jackson and Beyonce. The two's interactions had been fleeting, but their long-time comparisons and connections would be vibrant, especially today. With similar backgrounds and upbringings in the music industry. Basically, where Michael had the Jackson 5, Beyonce had Destiny Child, where he was dubbed the King of Pop, she was dubbed Queen B, where Michael had a rivalry with Prince, Beyonce had Rihanna, Michael and Janet, Beyonce and Solange, Michael's father Joe, Beyonce's manager father Matthew. There have been debates over which one reigns supreme as far as black legends. Debates ignited even by Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z. <laughs> Gina, do I look like Beyonce? Just like her. Girl, I knew you was gonna say that. Give me some. Jackson had a huge influence on his career. However, he said that one artist has him beat. Beyonce. Having come across one another at award shows, most notably in 2006 at the World Music Awards, when Jackson would hand pick her to present him. If it wasn't for Michael Jackson, I would never have ever performed. Beyonce, along with the Destiny's Child group, would do a rendition of Bootylicious, which feature classic Jackson moves and Jackson would also ask the fellow singer to appear in a star-studded lineup for his charity single, What More Can I Give? Hi. Hi, Beyonce. How you doing? Oh, good. I really appreciate you doing this because we're giving back. I'm very honored. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Many children will have to cry before we all take a stand. On made different live performances and stage shows, Beyonce would pay homage to her idol, even wearing a black military jacket during her 2013 Super Bowl halftime show performance, reminiscent of Jackson's 1993 Super Bowl halftime show garment. In some ways, Jackson's and Beyonce's origin stories are eerily similar. Both were raised in red states, Beyonce in Texas, Jackson in Indiana, but where one is celebrating and making black history, the other is black history. Beyonce has driven some of the pivotal pop culture moments of this millennium, from independent women, to single ladies, to lemonade, to her Coachella, homecoming performance, but nothing in black entertainment in the last half century can match the impact of Jackson and Thriller, the all-time best-selling album by a black musician. That both have been so difficult to mute post, leaving Neverland, is a testament to their artistry and enduring importance. The comparison isn't arbitrary or superficial. This isn't 2000's Usher or Justin Timberlake or 2010's Chris Brown being compared to Michael Jackson just because of a Smash album or similar dance moves. Beyonce's music and image have become indelible in a way that only seems comparable to Michael Jackson. She's become the kind of pop star that everyone has to have an opinion on. Virtually anything she does becomes a national or global event, whether she's announcing her pregnancy or just showing off a hairdo. Her fanbase is as rabid as any in the history of music and her personal life becomes fodder for the kind of analysis usually reserved for world events. She's the single most compelling star in music and has been for the better part of a decade. Beyonce is certainly not the first black pop superstar to present black culture on the mainstream stage, but for her to do so with such vigor at the height of her popularity and during a time of great cultural fission isn't incidental. At his commercial Zenith, Michael Jackson gave platform to famed South African vocal group Ladysmith Black Mambazo and dropped an all-black music video set in ancient Egypt on MTV. But by the time the King of Pop released the scathing, They Don't Care About Us, in spring 1996, his image and popularity had taken a hit in the US, following 1993 child molestation allegations. But Beyonce's presentation of powerfully black feminist imagery on Lemonade not only occurred as America was grappling with issues surrounding racism and misogyny, it occurred while she was still at the epicenter of popular culture. However, Beyonce is an undeniable creative force, but she's first and foremost an entertainer.
Her talent as a singer and performer is often jaw-dropping, but it takes a village to make a Beyoncé hit. Jackson was more of a self-contained, independent artist. He worked with accomplished producers but composed many of his greatest hits solo. As he proved with his career making Moonwalk on Motown 25 Inches in 1984, he didn't need a battalion to leave a lingering impression. Jackson was a black revolution in a way nearly unreachable today. Basically, while Beyoncé's Beehive has taken unconditional fandom to extremes, the cult of Bay revolves more around her star power than unprecedented creative brilliance. She rides musical trends with deft awareness, but she doesn't invent them the way Jackson did. If he had never entered our lives, black music, black history, would not be the same. No matter what becomes of his reputation, his artistic contributions are untouchable neither scandal nor time can diminish them.